Welcome to our video series on sales tax with QuickBooks. This video will be an overview of sales tax and we will learn how to activate it. You may well ask, what is sales tax? Well, we know when we sell to a customer, the sales price is what we actually earned in income, and the sales tax is the money amount that the customer pays above the sales price. For example, if the sales price was $100 and the tax was 8%, that means the tax would be $8 and the customer would have to pay the total $108. QuickBooks must keep separate records of how much is earned by us and how much is actually the sales tax that we owe to the government. Now, some of the money that we owe to the government is owed to one tax department for one type of sales tax and some of the money that we owe to that we collected from the customer that we owe to the government could be to a completely different department for a different type of sales tax these are all distinctions that the records and QuickBooks must keep we have to know how much money is owed separately to each different department of government in order to do that, one of the first things we have to do to set up sales tax is to put the different tax agencies on the vendors list. The tax agencies are not technically vendors, but they are payees because we will pay them the tax in the future. So it's convenient for QuickBooks to put them on the vendors list with all the other payees. So now let's go ahead and add these two departments of government to the vendor list in the file we provided for you. From the main menu, click Vendor, Vendor Center. Notice there are no other vendors in this file because we wanted to make the illustration as clear as possible. From the top left, you can click New Vendor, New Vendor, and the first one will be New York state sales tax department that might not be the name but you get the point now after we click OK we can do it again for New Jersey New Jersey sales tax department or whatever the name might really be of course in a real situation you would put all the other relevant information that you could save and go back to if you need it but at least we have completed our first step in setting up sales tax. The next step in the setup process is to put the sales tax items on the items list. We all know that the items on the items list are things that go in the body of a sale receipt or an invoice. Sales tax is also listed in the body of a receipt or an invoice and that's why the sales tax items have to go on the same items list. The only difference is sales tax items are a percent of the other items. Here are the two sales tax items we will use. New York State Tax, here's the name and the description and the percent and for the New Jersey customers we have New Jersey sales tax and here's the name and the description and the percent the only problem is we can't put them on the items list now because we have not yet activated sales tax we will use the New York state sales tax item to be able to activate sales tax now we activate sales tax in the preferences window and the reason I say that we will use New York State tax to activate sales tax is because at the moment we flip the switch in the preferences window to activate sales tax, QuickBooks asks us for at least one sales tax item to be put on the list at the moment we activate sales tax. I understand this is bizarre and confusing, but for decades, QuickBooks has required that we do it this way. 
Activating sales tax is one little click, but at the moment we click, we are required to add to the items list at least one sales tax item. From the main menu, click Edit Preferences. Scroll down to the category of Sales Tax. Then click Company Preference. Do you charge sales tax? Click Yes. Now we cannot save this until we specify a most common sales tax. In other words, we have to add a sales tax item at the moment we activate sales tax in this preferences window. So we could either click this, which is the same thing as clicking this and clicking add new. You get to the same window. And as you can see, one of the item types that's added to the item type list is sales tax item. The name of the first one we will put on the list is NYS sales tax and of course the description is sales tax New York State we know the percent will be eight percent and the tax agency is the tax agency we put on the vendor list earlier New York State sales tax department when we click OK now QuickBooks will allow us to click OK in the preferences window and by default which means automatically all items and all customers will be taxable we will learn in a future video how to make some of them non taxable by adjusting these codes we click OK and now sales tax is activated so what changes have been made to the file since we activated sales tax in the preferences window well sales tax transactions have been added to the main menu sales tax reports have been added to the main menu a sales tax payable account which is a current liability has automatically been added to the chart of accounts this account will show the total accumulated sales tax that we owe to all of the different departments of the government. And of course, sales tax fields have been added to customers, items, sales receipts, and invoices. Let's take a look. If you click the vendor main menu, you will notice that sales tax has been added. And when you click on sales tax, this sub menu gives you a whole bunch of activities that you can do regarding sales tax. You may also notice that when you click list, item list, you notice New York State sales tax is now on the items list and if you click item new, sales tax item or sales tax group is one of the choices or two of the choices actually in the items list. You may also notice that under vendors in addition to sales tax activities there are also sales tax reports and of course if you open the customer center you will notice that when you double click to edit a customer sales tax settings have been added to the edit customer window Let's associate Allen and Betty with New York State sales tax and imagine they are New York customers. And let's make Candy a New Jersey customer and associate her with the New Jersey tax. In order to do that, we have to add New Jersey tax to the items list. Click Item, New, choose Sales Tax Item. The name will be N. J sales tax and the description will be sales tax New Jersey and of course the rate we remember was six percent and the tax agency was the one we put on the list New Jersey sales tax department click OK and now we have a choice of two different types of sales tax that we can add to a customer's permanent information. So we click customer, customer center. We can double click Allen, 
And in the sales tax settings, we can use New York State Sales Tax. Click OK. For Betty, same thing. Double click Betty, click her sales tax settings, and where it says tax item, we will click New York State and click OK. For Candy, we double click, we choose sales tax settings, and her item will be New Jersey sales tax. Then we click OK. Now we're set up and prepared to use sales tax when we make receipts or invoices.